I'm going to be making some paper out of tissue paper and things I found around my house, my property, my shop that will create a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest sandwiched in between these sheets of tissue paper. Then I'm going to colorize them or highlight them with some rust. So I hope you will stick with me for the next 10, 12 minutes and join me as I make different items to represent the upcoming poll in this month's prompt, which is going to be making paper. These are some of the variations that we're going to be doing today. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. So just to reiterate, once each month I pull a prompt and I do that for four Sundays in a row or five Sundays depending on the month. This month it's making paper. I'm starting with some tea bags. I have a gallon tea bag here, a coffee filter, and I am utilizing my glue and water mixture, two-thirds glue, one-third water, to sandwich these together. I want to continue to build on this until I get a square sheet of paper. So you can see I have that round circular edge on the right side. I want to square that up by adding additional tea bags. Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday I'm just kind of pushing that up on the edges because I have laid these tea bags down on this sheet of jelly paper and I want, once it dries, to be able to pull that off. So I've just mooshed the edges, but now I have a tea bag done. So let's get started with the second sheet. Once again, laying it down on the deli paper so I have something that it will kind of stick to, but will remove easily, if that makes sense. This is wet strength tissue. What I have in this bag is, after we brushed and groomed the horse, we trimmed her tail and this is the end of her little tail that we trimmed off and I have pulled that over to my shop to use in different projects. I've made hair, uh, paint brushes out of her hair tail and now I'm just utilizing it in this piece. The purpose of making all of this paper, number one, is that's the prompt for the month, but I want to make a bunch of rusty, grungy papers for a collage that I have in mind. So bear with me and we will make quite a few. I've sandwiched this horsehair in between the two sheets of wet strength paper and I will come back and colorize that I did two of these. One I colorized with rust. 
The other I colorized with a uh, stain, a Distress Oxide tea dye stain. Now I want to try just plain old tissue paper, just carnival tissue paper that you buy at the dollar store. Inexpensive, comes in a huge pack. <clears throat> As you can see, it is a little more difficult to work with than the wet strength tissue paper, <clears throat> but the end result is not that much different. Uh, I, I think the end result turns out in my opinion, pretty much the same. So I'm struggling with this tissue paper to keep it laid down, and every time I touch it, I tear it a little bit, which you don't have on the wet strength. But for those of you that don't have a horse in your backyard, I thought it would be a good idea to utilize something similar to show you that thread I am using here just uh, raveling from another project that I did of the fabric that you know, the ends were raveling and I wanted to distress the ends, so I was pulling threads. And those are the threads out of a piece of canvas type cloth. And I have that sandwich in between those two sheets of paper. And I'm just adding a coat. I coat the paper first, lay my item down, then I'm in a sandwich, cover it up, smooth it out, and coat it once again. So let's do another. And on this one, instead of cutting the tissue paper in two, I am keeping it in one long sheet and I'll just fold it over. Now I emptied all those tea bags when we started with that tea bag piece of paper. This is the tea out of those tea bags. And I've just sprinkled it all over. And I think this turns out to be my favorite piece of paper because that tea really represents itself when it is covered with a rust. Out comes the rust water. I have, as you can see, a very large jug here. I have a very rusty chain that I dropped down in the bottom of this jug. I covered it with vinegar and filled the tub with water, and that has been sitting around my shop for a good month or so. And it will continue to rust, it will continue to develop, but if you're going to create your rust water, it takes at least, in my opinion, a good week to get that to a point where you can actually utilize it. Now, if you recall, when we did the index card prompt, I had run these leaves through my um, Big Shot. And we had created some images on index cards by running the leaves through the Big Shot. Well, I saved those and dried them and put them inside a book. And now I'm pulling those out to utilize in this project, just sandwiching those leaves in between tissue paper. And now I've rusted everything, I've let everything dry, I've speeded up the drying a bit on some with my hair dryer, but it is time now to release all of these from the deli sheet. And you can see where it might just be still a little bit wet, it's wanting to hang on, so I'm going to flip this over and just dry it for a second and get it good and dry so I can pull that off. And there we go. And I think that looks really good. Now I do have a couple of places where I tore that tissue paper, so I will mend that. But I love how that rust 
has really given it that uh, grungy look. So let's just take one little piece of tissue paper where I have that little hole where it was a little wet when I pulled it apart, you know, because I'm not one that is a patient sort. So I do kind of tend to get excited and want to move forward. So if you are doing this, I, if I didn't have this video due today, I probably would have let these dry overnight and then came back this morning and then release them but because I needed the footage for the video I was kind of in a in a hurry here is the tea look how that kind of almost developed a gray color um, when I hit it with the rust water and that pulled off very easy. It was fully dry. Now the bottom, when you pull this off, the bottom still is in my, because I was rushing, it was still a little wet. So that's why I'm flipping those over and hitting them with the dryer. But that's the process. There really isn't anything too um, intense about this. I'm adding some additional rust water on the back side just so the front and the back look good, depending. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be using them for, whether I'll use it as a page in a book or whether I'll use it as a collage piece, maybe make a tag. Who knows what I'm going to be creating with these, but I do want to do a collage. Here are all of the finished pieces. I did the tea bags. I have two sheets with the tea bags. This is the horsehair with the Distress Oxide Stain. This is the horsehair with the rust. And I think both of those look very interesting. This is the leaves. These are maple leaves. In your hair. We can look and then we have the tea. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life I want to make it count, honey. Come on now and take my the tea bags created a very unique piece of paper and the threads looked very good as well. So I'm happy with all the different versions. I hope you found this useful and if you like my content please hit that subscribe button. Here is the playlist of all of the coffee cup prompts or the prompts since December of last year. So there is a good five months of prompts that you can enjoy if you so choose. Thank you very much for being here and I'll say bye for now.